Hunters, welcome to another Form Titan DocSign video. And in this video, I'll show you how to send emails via Salesforce in Form Titan DocSign. So let's get started. Let's go to the Form Builder and we're going to insert our PDF. So let's go and do that now. Let's get a PDF and we can use this one DocSign Agreement. It's just a, a, a demo document here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few things. First, I'm going to log into Salesforce and show you where you can set up your emails. Um, and you can set them under your organization-wide address, and it needs to be verified. So go to Setup. Let's go in there quickly. And then here, you need to type in organization-wide address. Okay, and you need to make sure that this is verified and there's an email address in there. So this is my email from Salesforce, joe at formtitan.com. And then if you are using email to case, make sure that you have email, enable email to case switched on. If it's not enabled, then you won't be able to record it. Um, and then secondly, if I go into just a case, which is what we'll be using, you need to enable um, your email object so you'll be able to see all the communication stored in there. So let's say this is my my case here, and actually I'll go to a this one here. You can see there's a related there's this email object which will store all the data for you with the communication. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go set this up right now. So let's get some fields in here. On site label. And just like that, I'm going to start putting them on one by one. And then we'll get a signature as well, just like this. Okay, next up, I'm just going to go ahead and tag these. So we'll call this one first name, last name, email, and then mobile. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this to be dynamic. So we'll go into the document and we'll do uh, document access to be dynamic. Configure, we'll choose our object to be case and allow for Salesforce button and then we'll simply configure our contact here so add object contact condition is going to be case ID oh, let's see what's going on here I need to choose the correct object, so it will be case. Condition is going to be case ID equals record ID. And then I'll just need to map my fields. So I use my contact ID and I'll reference it to the first name here. Contact ID reference to last name here. Contact ID, and then I'll reference it to email here. Okay, email just like that, and I'll apply and finish. Next, we'll go and assign each of the fields here to this contact general assign add user. And I'm just going to remove 2FA from it for now, just to sort of speed up the process. Next, we'll go in there and make sure that we're getting the data from Salesforce. So we'll do contact ID, contact ID, contact ID, contact ID. And then I'll just start to reference them. This is us doing the get. And then the last name. And then email. And then finally, mobile. Apply and apply. And then once you've done that, we're pretty much good to go. So all we have to do now 
um, is enable Salesforce um, email. So you go to your email and you check send via Salesforce and you click edit. You choose your organization wide email addresses. For me, it's only one, joe at formtitan.com. You can enable Form Titan mail server as a fallback in case your Salesforce falls over. And then if you check that, this will create an email message in Salesforce so you can track what's happening. Okay, and then click apply, save, and now we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do, this is where it's gonna go to, this email here. So let's do FTKs. Actually, before I do that, I need to make sure that my collaborator has got full access to this. So let's go to collaborator. Doc sign, and then we'll call this one doc sign agreement. Okay, and then let's refresh my case. Let's go to this case, click the button, and then we'll go ahead and sign this. Now, this is going to go ahead and process my request for me. And if I go to my Gmail now, and you'll see that. Let's see where the email comes from. Is it coming from directly from me or is it coming from Joe Blocks? So let's see. Give it a second for the process. Okay, so here it is. You see like where it's come from? It's come from joe at formtitan.com which is related to my Salesforce. So it's coming from Salesforce directly. Okay, and then what I can do, I can just take this, put it in here, just need to get that URL again, let's copy it properly, in here, I can just paste it, it's going to load my document, Here's my data from Salesforce. I'll just go ahead and sign it and then click finish sign. And now once this is signed and it's been pushed through, what I want you to notice is that in Salesforce, everything is recorded because we've checked create email records. So if I go into my related, you can see there are three plus entries in here. Okay, first one is your request to sign the document. This is the email that we sent out. So it records all the details for you, also related to the right case. And then second one was the signing. And again, it's recorded everything. And here's the third one, which is all the data that we've submitted. And then the final one was the signing process. And it also attaches the document for you as well, if you wanted to have a look. So, okay, so there it is. It's that simple all you have to do is make sure that a you've got your um, organization wide email sorted and configured and verified if you're using in case make sure email to case is enabled and then from there on all you have to do is just simply enable use with Salesforce and that setting can be found under email and then send via Salesforce thank you for watching this video